Discussion on how much power a committee head should have continued today in session where lawmakers discussed a resolution that if passed would ensure the timely public hearing on all bills. Senators also discussed the $1.5 million in funding needed for FESTPAC. PNC's Tim Blas McHenry reports. Must have a public hearing. People's voices must be heard. The resolution was introduced by Senator Dennis Rodriguez after four of his bills were held in Senator Mike San Nicholas's committee without a public hearing. The resolution would amend the 33rd legislature's standing rules to incorporate the 120-day rule that says if a bill has been in committee for longer than 120 days, the author of the bill can hold their own public hearing. Senator Mike San Nicholas is the committee head who initially held Rodriguez's bill, saying that there was no money available for them. I just find it very, very um, intriguing that the very senators who are all of a sudden uh, clamoring for public hearings to give out election year spending are the same senators who bypass the public hearing to give themselves raises. Um, you know, this um, thing about trying to make it be all of a sudden about getting the people to participate uh, is just very sad when the people's participation is only important when it comes to election year spending for uh, what I would say are votes versus the people's voice when it comes to giving yourselves pay raises and doing it under the cover of darkness. Senator Dennis Rodriguez Jr., however, says that the resolution prevents one senator from dictating the legislative agenda. You know, I'm very pleased and happy with at least the a majority of the discussions on this, on this piece of resolution here, Mr. Speaker, that um, will really put back some sense of order in this whole process. Um, you know, we've seen that the bills that, um, you know, may have not moved forward in, in some committees are not all about not having funds, not having money. At a committee on rules meeting, all four of Rodriguez's bills were re-referred out of St. Nicholas's committee. St. Nicholas maintains that GovGuam does not have the money to spend on the four bills he held. Just yesterday, PNC reported both GCC and UOG are behind $21.6 million in cash allotments. Also discussed at session, Senator Tina Munoz Barnes added, quote, verbiage to her bill 252, which was originally used for capital improvement projects in Tumon to help address a $1.5 million shortfall for FESPAC funding. Senator Mike San Nicholas and Narissa Underwood are questioning the funding source of the bill. The governor's bill identified next year's tourist attraction fund as a funding source which hasn't been collected yet. This means the additional $1.5 million would have to come from this year's fiscal cash flow. For PNC News, I'm Tim Blas McHenry.